Hey guys, how's it going? I hope everyone is having a wonderful Easter. Hope you had some good meals today and enjoyed lots and lots and lots of chocolate. It actually was a very nice day today. Um, it was a little chilly, but the sun was out all day. It was really nice, actually. Um, I went to go pick up some stuff in the yard. I have an old tree in my backyard, and because it's so old, the branches are really brittle. So when we had that windstorm, it knocked off a lot of it. it usually does. Uh, so I picked up all those and I put them out, out front so that the garbage guys can come and grab them in the morning. So that was pretty much my day. And of course, spending it with my child. He got spoiled as usual. Lots and lots of chocolate that I may or may not have stole a piece from. <laughs> uh, I wanted to show you this here. So, of course, without a crystal ball post to this, which is really stupid in my honest to God opinion, because uh, you'll see why. Okay. So this is Chrisley's witness list, okay? And it says, Dear Counsel, your client's conditions of release state that they are to refrain from contact with victims of the offense offenses, as well as potential witnesses about the facts of this case. The government provides the below preliminary list of victims and or witnesses. This list will also be provided to your client's pretrial service officer, officers, offers, sorry, no officers. Please note that the government reserves the right to supplement this list in advance of trial. Please do not hesitate to contact us with any questions or concerns. So here is the potential witnesses and or victims. There's a lot, okay? And look who's on it. Lindsay Chrisley. Lindsay Chrisley. Todd's daughter. And she has the balls to post it. Uh, Lindsay's on it, KJ. <laughs> So because KJ has not been quiet and because KJ likes to run her mouth, um, she has said in the past that Lindsay was a witness for, uh, or sorry, a um, victim of Todd's, right? Listen to this. This is what, this is what Lindsay has written on Twitter. I, good evening. I hope everyone is having a blessed weekend with their families and loved ones. My intentions were to disconnect from my phone and social media. My phone and direct message have messages have been blown up about posts regarding my parents' upcoming federal trial. I am going to reiterate, I have never been contacted by the federal government or any federal agent asking me to be witness for the government or informing me that I am a witness in this case. I am highly alarmed that my image is being used, attaching it to court documents. Referencing me, it is my understanding that the names on the list that have been posted on a YouTube channel are individuals that are not to be connected regarding the case, not no contact. A friend would not have me blocked from seeing things that they are reporting on me. Put me in a compromising position or elude without speaking to me that I am in danger or harm's way. I am in no way a source of information for her or any other outlets for that matter. At this point, I am alarmed, concerned for my safety, mental well-being, and well and will be discussing with my attorney any further steps we can and will be taking next week. Anyone reporting on this, please be aware my attorneys are watching. I will no longer tolerate attacks to my mental and emotional health. Easter is the most celebrated season of Christianity, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. I plan to completely disconnect tomorrow and love on my son. Please, at the very least, give me and my family a day of rest. Isn't this getting sick? She has to keep saying these things because of KJ? Like, look it, a friend would not have me blocked from seeing things that they are reporting on me. Or putting her in a com compromising position or alluding without speaking to her that she's in danger or harm's way. Clearly she's talking about KJ. I really feel bad for her and I really, really do hope with her referencing her attorneys and stuff that she's going to be the next one to sue because it is due. Okay. Now there is, um, an, okay. KJ did a, uh, an IG live me and I think everybody missed it. I think the only people that were able to record it was llama girl and this woman here so credit for this is to clarissa uh she has a youtube channel so i'm going to play this i might speed this up just once Um, when you search my name, you have to put in my whole name. Um, so 
don't make sure that you're following me. Look at that. Now that is obsessed with yourself. That's what I wanted to show you. Look at this crap, how she has to idolize herself. Wow. There's like a glare. Hi. I think I'm shadow banned right now on, on Instagram. I've been noticing that um, when you search my name, you have to put in my whole name. Um, so make sure that you're following me. Sorry for the crappy audio. It's just um, what's on it's just on YouTube. It's recorded from Clarissa, I'm assuming. And then it was put on Reddit. So sorry if it's off. Um, and you're liking all those posts and like boosting them and stuff and giving comments and stuff. Oh, I'm really tired and my makeup is a mess. So I have like a little filter on right now. And um, yeah, I'm okay. I actually saw this comment and I was like, I want to show you guys because I literally don't know what this means. Um, because my house is like literally not 1990s and someone said I had a 90s aesthetic, like stuck in the 90s aesthetic. And I'm like, my house was built in 2013. All my decorations and everything I buy in my house is definitely not from the 90s. Like when I think of the 1990s, I think of like lava lamps and bean bags and like black lights and uh, Nirvana the pictures and Jay Kirby and not. So I just have to ask, what is a 90s aesthetic? Is that like, what does that mean? What's with the fingers? I mean, I was a, no, she's not actually a troll. No, because when I, I was, okay, so I, that was not the 70s. Oh my gosh, that was not the 70s. It was not the 70s at all. I was a kid in the 90s. No, it was the 70s and the they brought it back in the 90s. So in the 70s was the flare jeans, which I love the bell bottoms. I love them. I wish they would come back. And then there was like the big bay, the bean bag chairs and there was the lava lamps. And then they brought them back in the, what was it? Early 2000s, maybe very, very late 90s, early 2000s. Because I remember I got a lava lamp when they came out again. They were really neat. I had a red one. So yes, they were in the 70s. Um, like legit, that's what we had. When... So I'm just, I'm not remembering my childhood. Because in the 90s, we had lava lamps, so we had black lights. I know that we, they were in the 70s, but they came back. Her <laughs> husband just had to tell her that they were in the 70s. See? Chain. Yes. Get mad. It's a vibe. How am I stuck in the 90s? That's actually offensive, if you think about it. Like, that would be like I didn't actually like evolve from the 1990s. Look, it's so easy to pick on her for her looks, right? Because, I mean, come on. But uh, I have to point this out. Her nose is growing for fuck's sakes. That's what happens when you drink alcohol every day, all day. Yeah. I'm not seeing that. You guys, you guys literally just come on here. To... Okay, first off, I'm going to turn on comments. Wow. When, when I say 1990s, I'm just going to be real honest here. I grew up in the 90s. I graduated high school in the 90s. I know what the 90s aesthetic is. You see how mad she gets when she's proven wrong? I mean, it's ridiculous. And yet they still keep coming back. These subs are hers. I don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense. Like, do people really like to get bitched at? That's exactly what's going on here. She is yelling at you like a teacher. Like, listen, if you don't pay attention, you don't listen to what I say. And if you don't believe me, you have to know I'm a yes person. Everything I say is true. You have to take it as a fact. And if you don't, that's it. Comments are off. That's it. That's all. We're done. I mean, I feel belittled by listening to this. You know what I mean? I'm feeling bullied and it's not even towards me. No lava lamps were not developed in the 70s. But I'm telling you, they were really popular in the 90s. So was flannel. So were Doc Martens. So were pencil thin arrows. <laughs> so were leaf models. So was Calvin Klein underwear where you showed like the Calvin Klein uh, like underwear stuff thing. Um, the underwear stuff thing? Do you mean like <laughs> the underwear stuff thing? So they're really popular, you know, the underwear stuff thing. You mean the models, the, boy, the boys, all the guys? Yeah, they were showing off their bellies. It was very nice, actually. They had really nice six-packs, eight-packs. They were gorgeous. Actually, one of the models would have been Mark Wahlberg. Marky Mark. He looked really good back then, if you guys can remember that. So were high-waisted jeans and, uh, like, big baggy t-shirts and color block. Like, that was the 90s. Color block? That doesn't mean it started in the 90s. That's just what was popular in the 90s. Alternative rock, Doc Martens, baby doll t-shirts. Baby doll dresses, um, 90210 bullshit. Like, 
So I'm sitting here going like, how am I stuck in the 90s? Because literally, like, if you look at my wardrobe, definitely not 90s. I actually get so annoyed when I see uh, her. Now, her wardrobe, I don't know what you guys think, but I know she was buying them from, what is it, 3150 that is Amy Duggar's store. No offense against Amy or anything. I don't like the clothing. I, it's too modern or something um, for me. I never cared for it. But I know she was buying her clothing from uh, Amy. So it wasn't, I don't know, it's just different. You know what I mean? And anything else she wears, it's it's nothing special. I was coming back because I'm like, oh, God, that's like my childhood. I don't want to go back to my childhood. And I'm like, is it because of what's on my wall? Because what's on my wall I got in the Like I bought like only a few years ago. Um, like the 90s are back right now. I know what clothing is, and I buy my clothes off Lulu's. So is my vibe because of what I've been buying for my clothes? I don't know. No one's ever told me that I've been trapped in a decade before. I don't even really listen to 90s music. Wow, she's just freaking out over this comment. <laughs> I my god for someone who has hardly any hair she likes to pull on it and stare at herself in her camera i just wanted to know um yeah all that same stuff is coming back yeah so like acid wash those are like in the late 80s i don't have the bright area that i know because i'm not a minimalist so like minimalist minimalism or whatever what? is like super trendy and so is like the people that do boho and I'm not boho like at all. So like if you want to come to my vibe and see like boho sheet like you're going to be a Magnolia or something that's. If you want to come to my vibe, I'm sorry, is that what the hell she said? Like boho sheet like you're going to be a Magnolia. Minimalist minimalism I mean, that's not me. Sorry. Minimalist minimalism or whatever is like super trendy and so is like the people that do boho and I'm not boho like at all. So, like, if you want to come to my vibe and see, like, boho sheet, like, you're going to be a magnolia or something, that's not me. <laughs> be big bully. <laughs> I don't want to have, like, an all-white background. you know how boring that is? I thought she had COVID. I'm definitely not boho. You're I don't really have a style. Right. That's just a weird thing to say. Like, my, even my room isn't decorated like the 90s. It's just strange to me how she's going off about this. But someone left one comment. My car reminds me of a Spanish villa. That's how I wanted to design it. Like, I'm big into rod iron. What? Rod iron. Okay, you know what? My husband's even going to annoy me tonight. I hate when I'm just trying to say shit and, like, people are constantly, like, correcting me. I'm crabby tonight, by the no way. No shit. Tonight, by the way. So, you know what? My husband's even going to I wanted to design it. Like, I'm big into rod iron. Oh my god. What an idiot. She said rod iron. It's rot iron. That's why he's telling her it's rot iron, not rod iron. Rot iron. Okay, you know what? My husband's even going to annoy me tonight. I hate when I'm just trying to say shit and like people are constantly like correcting me. I'm crabby tonight, by the way. So if people want to like save this and like bring this on later. So it's been a really like agitating thing oh. for me, I'm not going to lie. There's been a lot of really just unnecessary things being said about me. And listen, I don't care if people talk about me, but, like, right now, what is actually being said about me is so offensively wrong. And, like, people are, for some reason, dictating this narrative about me that is so astronomically false. And if I say anything, like, I'm getting destroyed. And so, like... Meaning people are finally saying stuff, even more people than normal, and she's getting pissed off about it. Because she can't confuse the hell out of them and lie her way out of things. In my opinion, of course. I'm not losing tons of subscribers. Or yes, you like are. That. It's just really weird to me that really small things are making people like aggravated about me when I've not changed what I've done at all. You know, like nothing's changed at all. Todd Chrisley is still suing me for baseless, uh, frivolous allegations, and people are continuously acting like this lawsuit is meaningful when it's not. His witness is Lindsay Chrisley, his own daughter, that you said in your drunk live and the other day, this one that she was your best friend. Like, really? And I've unfortunately had to respond to, like, the stupid stuff that keeps being said about me. And they're acting like this is something that's, like, a big deal when it's really not. Um, it's annoying is what it is. It's annoying and it's expensive. <laughs> Good. And um, 
I'm not a minimalist at all, actually. I mean, I do. I don't like clutter. That's hundred percent true. But if you saw my house, that's definitely not. But it's like the, this narrative right now, where everyone wants to make these videos, like I'm like a liar, and it's like this is like every single time. Um, the minute you stop caring, you start growing. Okay, I understand that, but at the same time, like I don't really care what people say about me. I yes, just you do. People that like I don't understand the obsession. It's not obsession, dear. It's called calling out your falsities, and you have a lot. So it's very easy to make videos on you. Very easy. I need to spread nasty, nastiness about me because you want to build your channel, whatever. There's plenty of channels that their entire channels are about me. But to, like, just make up stupid lies, I don't understand. Like, for me... What lies, KJ? Tell me one lie, and I'll let you know if it's a lie. Because I guarantee they're all truth. When I... She's pretty, Clarissa. Yeah, so the, I was actually thinking about this this week. If you don't like me so much that you will go on the wrong side of a story just to prove your point, that's so disturbing to me. Wow. Like, if you saw people being abused very publicly, wouldn't you want to say something but not make the person that's calling them out um, the abuser? So I'm the abuser because I'm like... Um, Yes, correct. You are the abuser. I don't know. Anybody, everybody, raise your hand if you believe that she is an abuser. I truly believe that. In my opinion, yes, she is. Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm going to turn off comments again because I just oh want to, like, Oh, my God. Uh, this is ridiculous. So, but I'm not trying to be rude to you guys. Yes, you are. I'm just trying to process this. I don't want to be rude to my commenters because I love you guys and I appreciate you guys. But I'm just actually saying something. That if you are so against me that you'll be against what's actually happening to people that's like abusive or hurting them or harmful to them it actually hurts my heart to think that you think that i that these people are not being abused uh you know what this is gearing towards Lindsay chrisley and what she wrote on twitter guaranteed <laughs> like that hurts my heart i don't care that you think that i'm lying it hurts my heart that you actually hate me so much that you're ignoring what's happening to other people you can actually not like someone, but still not disagree with their take. You know she's I mean? talking about Lindsay. See how she's trying to, wow, she's trying to spin this. Then again, we all knew she would. Only a matter of time. I mean, like, there's plenty of conservative pun pundits that I don't, I'm not a conservative. I don't care if you are, but if I'm like, say I'm like listening to politics, I'm just giving you an example. I don't have to like agree with everything they say, but I'm not going to disagree with everything they say just because they're a conservative, right? No, so you're trying to. just because someone who's a conservative <laughs> says something doesn't mean they automatically are constantly lying all the time. She's really trying to stick up for herself and trying to make excuses that she's not a liar and she doesn't constantly lie all the time and she's talking to Lindsay through this phone. <laughs> I'm listening to a political person and I don't, it's like a Republican and I'm like, oh yeah, that's a good take, you know, whatever. Or say if it's someone who is religious and I'm not a religious person, they could still have a good take on something and I'm not going to hate them just because they're a religious person, you know, like... If, you, if your life is so dictated around hating someone to the extent that you can't actually see the truth, it's like wow. what concerns me about this society is that people that are reporting on stories are being villainized for actually reporting on what's happening instead of getting mad at the people for what's happening, right? Um, if you're angry about what is happening... Are you kidding me? You sat there and you accused Robert Shin of trafficking his dancers. Yes, you did. You even hashtagged it, KJ. And then you know what you did? You took the hashtag off and tried to say you didn't fucking say it. Yes, you did. And this is why you get sued. Your mouth. This thing right here. Widow's peak, eh? Right. Don't shoot the messenger for reporting on the story, right? And what I was doing and what I've been doing with the Shekinah story is to try to keep it relevant. It's not an obsession. It's just in the world of social media, you have to keep stories relevant or else they go away. And if there's family members that are affected and they feel like they're affected and, they, and there's plenty of stories and there's plenty of people that have come out publicly. Oh, like the story where you're saying that Lindsay Chrisley is a witness for, for the federal government for her father? You mean that lie? Yeah, that was a huge one now that you know that this is not affecting just one person do you ignore that or do you keep fighting for those people even if they don't feel like they need to be fought for what if you were trapped in a situation and just put yourself in this position like what if you had no one fighting for you if anybody can um elaborate on this or let me know uh what cult has she taken down and who's the people that she saved are they in her house all these people that were saved from the cult how many has she taken down? I'm just curious because I haven't heard or seen of one, one person, one cult 
nada, nothing. She's never taken down a cult and she's never helped anybody ever. There's not one person who is in a so-called cult that can come forward and say, yes, Katie Joy has helped me. That's fucking sad. And you didn't know that you needed someone to fight for you. Do you get mad at the person that's fighting? Or would you at some point in time realize that that person fighting for you had your best intentions the whole time and that they weren't there to hurt you? It's You're not, not going to win this, KJ. For people, and it's definitely not popular um, to boldly speak out for people. It's controversial. It hurts people's platforms. It hurts people's reputations. It's why influencers don't speak up. They don't want the controversy. And I get it. Like, I'm taking the lumps and the hits and the heat. I'm seeing people unsubscribe from my YouTube channel. I'm seeing negative comments. She just called herself an influencer. An influencer of what? Lying? Comments about how I'm doing this or I'm doing that. But it's like no different to me than with the Josh Duggar story. His people said I was a liar. You and are. I was doing this and I was doing that and I was wrong. You were. And then he got arrested and now he's incarcerated. You should have. And I wasn't wrong. People just didn't want to see it. So just try to disassociate yourself or disconnect from the narrative that someone else is creating. Yeah. A lot of reality stars, a lot of celebrities. Yeah, this is, this is going to be targeted towards Lindsay. Yeah. Want to control a narrative. And I'm not playing narratives. I'm just reporting on what I find. Right. And so I can only report based on the documents, the public records, the interviews. I can't ignore those. And just because it doesn't match the reality doesn't make me the bad guy. Yes, it I does. I would be more concerned if I was the person that was consuming that, that was being lied to, and being lied to for, like, every person that's on a platform that's lying to you is, is profiting off of that. And that's disingenuous. And the <laughs> one thing that these people will come to me with. She's one to call someone disingenuous, eh? Let's all say that you're the liar, Katie. No, I'm not a liar. Right. Do I change my opinions? Yes. Do I sometimes make mistakes and have to correct stories? Yes. You always I'm make all mistakes. The time in this world, especially in the world of fast news. Have I been sued? Yes. Lots of media outlets are sued. I'm an easy target because I'm an independent blogger or journalist who has me, <laughs> my and my uh, legal team, my business manager, like that's my team. Um, that's it. And so there you go. She doesn't admit it. She doesn't have a team. She has a manager. <laughs> but she doesn't lie, guys. If someone's going to target someone and try to bully them or like get them to be silent, they're going to go after the low person on the totem pole. They're not going to go after the sun. They're not going to go after in touch. They're not going to go after the big media outlets because they're going to assume that I don't have the legal capacity to handle it. Getting sued does not mean that you've done anything wrong. It can, but honestly, in the world of reporting, more often than not, getting sued means someone wants you to shut up. You're not a they reporter. They want to use your money. They want to like get you to like have to spend money, have to waste time, so that you stop talking about them. It happens all the time. Celebrities are notorious. Do you know how stupid you would be, or how more how much you'd have to dumb yourself down to actually believe this woman? Just think of that. That's what scares me. And her subs are like that. That's insane. For filing baseless lawsuits against people so that reporting will stop. That's literally what you do. She did the exact same thing to how many YouTubers now? She literally sent them all a letter from her lawyer saying, stop talking about me. Like a two-year-old having a toddler tantrum. And what did they do, KJ? They all made a song about you, KJ. And it was amazing. In the world, nobody wins these cases. Um, it's next to impossible to prove unless you're blatantly lying. Um, I know that Tasha... Really? Because from what I understand, Cardi B just won. Nice try, though. She lost one against Cardi E, but she blatantly lied. And she admitted on, I think, in her testimony to fabricating and... and, and Are you kidding me? <laughs> she just called Cardi B a liar. Do you want to get sued by her next there, Mouse? Keep it up. It's a fine story. It's like... If you're flat out falsifying stories, yes, you should be sued. But if you are reporting based on what's out in the public, it's hard to prove defamation because you're also allowed to have an opinion in the United States called free speech. So, really? Okay, so then why the hell did she sue and get a million? A few million, from what I understand. Make that make sense, as you always say. Hey, okay? Explain that one. Someone getting sued does not mean they're automatically a liar. It just means that you've pissed someone off that has money. Bullshit. And there's a lot of people right now that have a lot to lose, and I'm just like the easy target. Wow. 
So I've had to, for months, stay silent about the situation with the Chrisleys. And listen. <laughs> She's been silent, guys. She's been silent. What? I, I don't even know what to say. To this day, I don't have anything like, I don't hate them. Um, I simply reported on a story, and I became friends with their daughter. And now I'm being sued for statements that were made from years ago across multiple platforms. I actually was online looking at, at interviews. There's probably more than a dozen interviews on the same topic, spanning months and months and months. <clears throat> I didn't add anything new to the story. Like I didn't add, I read articles that is about things that his son said. I had opinions, like everyone gets to have an opinion. My crime in this specific case was that I was friends with his daughter. That is not your crime. Your crime is saying that she's a witness for the federal government for his tax evasion, okay? You also called him gay. Okay. You also said all these things about Lindsay that weren't even true. And you keep bringing up the sex tape. Apparently there isn't even one. You're just talking, maybe there, sorry, there might be one, but she keeps bringing, KJ keeps bringing up this sex tape claiming that Todd and Lindsay's brother have this tape and are threatening Lindsay, which wasn't even fucking true. She did this again, yet again. And this is why Lindsay wants nothing to do with you. Look forward to a restraining order, girl, and hopefully a lawsuit. And for some reason, I believe he thinks that I have information oh. that will help his criminal case. She just doesn't get it. So there was filings that were done this week. And he's um, saying that we're not cooperating with his discovery. The problem is, is that all of, his all of his discovery is about his daughter. And I've been for months trying to protect her. Right. So yes, I was hurt when I saw her post and she referred to me as that YouTuber. Um, <laughs> because we were friends. And no, you were. I haven't talked to her in months. And I miss her, and I still think she's a wonderful person, and I would never want to hurt her. Um, I wish I wasn't in the situation that I was in, and I wish she wasn't in the situation that she was in, and I wish that he would just leave her alone. Oh, um, my I God. Mean, she's doing the same thing she did with Amy Duggar. Amy Duggar's got uh, Jim Bob Duggar controlling her. That's why Amy won't talk to KJ anymore. And now Lindsay won't talk to KJ because her father said so, and he's controlling her. Do you see a pattern here, guys? The problem is her. That's the problem. I don't understand how one person just doesn't get it. She just doesn't get it. I'm not, I can't comprehend that. I've never, ever, ever seen anyone like this in my life. Like this bad. I've met narcissists. I really have. I've met people with her traits, but not all these traits rolled into one person. I mean, I think this, she should be locked up and studied. That would be prevent someone like KJ allowing, allowed to be on a platform again is what I think. Any ill will towards her, I think she's in an impossible position. Oh my I'm God. I'm hurt because I just, I care about her a lot. If you did, you'd stop talking and about I don't her. I want to hurt her, ever. And that means that if somebody's using their platform or the, the, the lawyers to try to get evidence against someone that could be a witness in your case, I'm not gonna just give it up. Like, it's not even relevant. The stuff that's being asked for is not relevant. And, and see, that's what's not up to KJ. Another thing she's not comprehending. It's not up to her what's relevant for them. They ask you for something, you agreed to give it to them, and you didn't. So now you're in hot water yet again. We had to, we had, we, first of all, he's filing these baseless like, things in, the, in this lawsuit. The lawsuit has no standing, so you right? say. There's no claims here, nothing. He's acting like we're not cooperating with Discovery. We've handed over Discovery, but we've also filed a motion to dismiss. Okay, I'm sure my lawyer is going to be hating me right now for talking about this, but I'm so sick of being quiet about it. You're never quiet about it. This. And then, as soon as we file the motion to dismiss, he sends us a letter for Discovery, and it's all about her. Why is he so interested in Discovery about his daughter? It doesn't make sense. I mean, he wants all of our communication. Because you blatantly lied. Isn't that weird? I don't want to, I don't feel like handing over private communication with someone. Too bad. nothing to do with him. I mean, doesn't that seem kind of violating? It does to me. And it's irrelevant because we weren't talking about him. And what if she's a witness in his case? Then what is he going to do with that information? Again, what if she's a witness in this case? She's not. Stop it. This is why Lindsay can't stand your ass. Like, he can go on his platform and he can play the victim. And he can say that he's being persecuted by the media and by his, um, by his business partner and how his kids turned him in. And he can blame everyone. And he can sling mud, and he can make all of his podcasts about me, and he can try to get everyone to sue me, and he can bully me, and he can ex like threaten me on his podcast and say he's wow. going to destroy me if I don't give him what he wants. 
but I'm not the one that's facing a 12 count indictment and potentially up to 30 years in prison. You know what I hope? I hope he doesn't go to prison and he doesn't get this 30 years or whatever the hell she's talking about. I really don't. And I hope he wins his lawsuit against her because she deserves it. And when he's in the middle, like there was a pretrial conference yesterday. And one of the motions that was filed by the government was that he was not giving them discovery. And another thing that they were concerned about was him using evidence to impeach witnesses. So they were afraid that he was going to be trying to extrapolate information about people that were called for the government as witnesses to try to impeach them on the stand so that they weren't, like, credible. Really? So I saw that in the motion. This is crazy. So she's still talking about it. <laughs> and I was like, and then we get a discovery request from him. So that's kind of where we're at. And I'm sure this video is going to cause 37 more emails from him, 27 more podcasts where he calls me all kinds of names and says I'm a liar. Um, but Todd has three active cases right now, not just me. He's like literally suing everyone. That's my opinion. And then he also has this case where he is facing 30 years in prison. And I don't know why he thinks this, but he somehow in one of their, it, it seems implied that he believes that I had some sort of relationship with his daughter before I ever met her. Because I don't know anything about his case. You so implied that. Me. You implied that. You did. So it's like, it just seems like, well, I'm not cooperating with Discovery. Well, technically, we're trying to get the this dismissed. And also, technically, we do have a right to request that there be a delay on this. Until yeah, you but you also have to give him what he's asking for. You agreed to it. So the fact that you didn't, you're in hot water for it. Criminal trial is under um, wraps because if you're trying to use a civil case to litigate your criminal case, that's kind of a problem, in my opinion. And we don't want to hurt any witnesses for the government. Like, right. I don't the yeah. Case. So... That's kind of where I'm at. I don't hate Lindsay, care about her a lot. I never would want to hurt her um, in a million years. And I'm, I'm sorry that this is what's going on in her life. And I'm sad that I was called that YouTuber and that I was told, like, not to talk about her. But I can't control the situation that I'm in. Like, then don't talk about her. Is about her. So how do you avoid it? Easy. You shut up. You don't say your name. You don't say his name because technically she shouldn't even be talking about any of this at all. She's in a lawsuit. You're not supposed to be even talking about this. You know, I heard her lawyer up and quit, and this would be why. Fuck, I'd quit a long time ago. I don't know how she even has anybody representing her. Even if she does right now, I have no idea. The last I heard it was Graham. Graham Martin, the one that's related to Todd. Her Todd, not Todd Chrisley. It sucks. So just have some empathy for her, man. Like, I don't know, she can eat me all she wants and say whatever she wants, but, like, I just feel sad for her. I feel sad for the situation she's in because no kid should have to be in that position. And I'm not going to, like, not, I'm not going to turn on someone just because someone's trying to bully me. Yes, she will. In my opinion, to get what they want. I mean, I was looking So now she's bullying you or are you referring to Todd? Looking through court records, do you know in of like, one county in Georgia, I think there was over 30 lawsuits that have been filed by him or against him. I was like, and that's just in one county in Georgia. There's, like, dozens in the federal court. There's multiple in other counties in South Carolina. I mean, he's brave that he just likes to file lawsuits for sport just to bother people. Like, that's a, someone that, in my opinion, is abusing the legal system. So when people what? He's abusing the legal system. Wow. There's someone on that abuses the legal system. You're like, really? My opinion. So much like he has his opinion, he can go on his podcast and talk incessantly about me. Like, I get a right to respond. And he brought you up his last podcast. He hasn't talked about you, lady, in months. In months. He brought you up because of what you've been doing to his daughter. That's why. I also have no ill feelings towards Lindsay. So if you want to make drama, there's none. I have empathy for her. And I'm also just sad because I feel like I lost a friend. That's it. I don't really appreciate like everybody to just like chill out and like I'm not the bad guy. Um, I'm not the bad guy that people are trying to make me out on YouTube. If you like everything I do right now, I feel like I just like watch my subscriber count and it's like up 10, down 5, up 10, up down 5. And I'm not losing anything, like, even remotely, like, it's negligible in terms of, like, the numbers. But, like, every single person that tunes out because of something false just makes my heart hurt. Like, oh, my God, I hate drama. Most of you guys know that I hate drama. I you don't want to be in this situation at all. You hate drama. Did you hear this? She says she hates drama. Uh, excuse me, you put yourself in drama every day, all day, 24-7, and yet you're saying that you hate drama. Wow. All I wanted was to help a friend, and I wanted to fight for some people that were what appears to be in a cult. <laughs> and if that makes me a bad person, I'm sorry. I'd rather be a bad person fighting for other people than someone that fights against someone who fights for other people. Like, I, I read this one woman's Instagram page, and she said she would not be happy until my entire platform was destroyed.
destroy it. I like, agree. What is it that I do that bothers you so much? Her name was Lori Carter. And I remember thinking, Lori Carter, why do you hate me so much? Like, what hey, you Lori Carter, I totally agree with you too. I've seen her around before. I agree. She deserves to lose her platform, so I'm on Lori Carter's side. I know you that I uh, need to have my entire platform removed. I don't even want the daughter's platform removed. Like, I have never called yeah, her okay. to be exactly. or for their Instagrams to go down. Like, I would never want someone's platform to be taken away from them unless they're doing something egregious. But, like, you won't be happy until, like, destroyed. But if I were to ever say that about someone else, I'm sure Lori would call me evil, right? It's like that, that, that little weird space we live in. And also, I did say last week that there was some YouTubers that might have gotten a lawsuit from illegally. I think I, you know, I was sick and wasn't feeling good. Um, so I'm sorry if, like, those YouTubers uh, got it through the court system. I was wrong on that. But actually, I know that there was at least one. Yeah, so she screwed up on that court thing. Remember when she was holding up the piece of paper and saying that we were all in bed with the cult? We were on the cult side. We got it from Robert Shin. We got it from the cult and her word that she repeated over and over and over and over again was court, 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 court. It wasn't fouled in court. It wasn't fouled in court. Yes, it was dumbass. Your lawyer didn't tell you. That's what happened. So where's Charlotte's apology? Hmm? Where's hers? Because you went and blasted Charlotte. Where's her apology? That's what I'd like to know. If anyone deserves it, it would be, it would be Charlotte. Where's Emily D. Baker's apology? Because you trash talked her too. When they legitimately, legitimately, wow, I can't even say the word legitimately, had the court records because it was filed in court and you said it wasn't but it was so they had a reason to have that and it was legal and yet you shot all over them so where's their apology yeah sorry girls you'll never see it not from this thing person that did post the lawsuit when it wasn't filed in court and actually i know that person had to have got it from the group because actually the group was following them you so have got to be fucking kidding me okay on my other video, I showed you guys the day it was filed. It was, what did I say? It was August, August, April 6th, it was filed. So I don't know why she keeps insisting on lying here. Oh, I'm not going to personally apologize to every YouTuber. Yeah, you are. I don't even know who was making videos about it. But I'm also not going to personally apologize to YouTubers that I don't like or have feelings about. You don't have to unsubscribe to someone because of how I feel about someone. And conversely, like, I wouldn't want anyone to unsubscribe to me because she doesn't like me or whatever. Like... It's just, you know, in this world, if someone's going to talk about you, you do have a right to respond. And that doesn't mean that we have to live in a world where, like, you unsubscribe to someone and take someone's Yeah, but you don't get to shit on people and mouth them and call them liars and say they're in bed with a fucking cult, okay? You don't get to say that. So, I don't know about anybody else on here, but I think that she owes Emily D. Baker and Charlotte an apology. Definitely. Because what she said about them and the way she rips them apart is bullshit. Fine. Like, nobody's jealous. I believe everyone has a place on YouTube. Everyone should be able to be successful. I just want to exist in a world where, like, we're not trying to kill each other's careers when we're doing the same job. What? Like, I don't want to hurt anyone's career that's trying to do this job. It's a cut, it's a cut from. Okay, I'm going to turn on comments. All right. There's clears. Of course you're drinking. <laughs> but you're so sick from COVID, right? Oh, my God. But you're the liar. Yeah, like, just exactly. Thank you. You have a right to freedom of speech and a discreet. It is a glitter filter, yeah. It's like, oh, my face. I just act like when I see people, like, unsubscribe over stupid, petty stuff. Like, why, why would you unsubscribe over someone because... That was not stupid and petty. You literally yelled at Emily D. Baker and Charlotte. And yet, for some reason, you gave uncivil law a pass. Do you want to know why that is, guys? It's because he has a penis. She's jealous of women. Uncivil law, she did not even care. She wasn't mad at him at all. Just Emily and just Charlotte. Isn't that nice? I had a bad moment or someone sued me. That doesn't really mean anything. Like, you know how many lawsuits the Kardashians have? Like a million. You're the only YouTuber I know of that's getting sued you know as much really as you are. That's interesting, Desi. She said, you get, they get excited about defamation, you have to defame you every day. Um, so I was having this conversation with my legal team um, about the directions to go with the people that harass you like that. And I don't, I'm not of the opinion that you sue people that are like that because you never win those cases. And it's like whack-a-mole. 
So what, you sue one creator that says some shit about you, and then what, two minutes later, it's another creator. It never solves anything. You know, being able to speak to each other would be better. Like, there's times where I'm like, I would just like to reach out to these creators and be like, what did I do to you? Like, what exactly do you hate about me? But I know that I can't, because if I talk to them, they'll just use it as content, 